more than ass. All right, so we're at Mama's house. Mama, Mama Rose. Mama, Mama Rose. And you know her from being Miss Norwegian 2018, 17. Actually, she's Miss Norwegian every year, if you really think about it. Let's just give it to her. And we give it to her, right, Ro? She wins it. Yeah, she's, she, 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 she's on busy mode. Oh, my God. I really look like an antique lady. Oh, stop it. No, you don't. <laughs> this girl. The pajamas on, but who gives a <laughs> That's right. When you're cooking, <coughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So anyway. Anyway, what we're doing now is <laughs> anyway what we're doing now is making gravy, homemade gravy for those. West Coasters don't know what gravy is. It's sauce. It's the sauce. Spaghetti. How you doing? How you we're doing? We're making the spaghetti. The we're pasta, the ravioli. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Everything is gravy. What do we put on? What do you like on your pizza? Gravy. gravy. What do you like on your mashed potatoes? Gravy. gravy. What do you have spaghetti in? Gravy. gravy. Turkey. Gravy. gravy. See? It's all gravy to us. It's all gravy, cuz. It's all gravy. But we're making it today. We're making it happen. We got Tanya who's going to really learn the recipe to know yeah. what's going on. We're not going to give you every little thing because we're not going to make you steal our gravy Can't do recipe because it's that. been handed down through generations and generations and generations. And everybody's got their own flavor we ain't gonna, of great. We ain't going to be tricked into publicly giving that recipe away. Uh, we're with my mother-in-law. She's more like my mother, though. You know, we close like that. Yes, um, yes, yes. Yes. And she's teaching me how to make her gravy, her homemade gravy, and I'm super excited about that. Um, so we're just frying some sausage, I already know it's in the meatballs, and I ain't publicly going to give away no recipes, okay? Uh, Rose gravy is absolutely good. So what we're doing is some sausage, meatballs, and she's going to show me her gravy. I am, my contribution is I am making long cuts. Um, delicious, so you definitely want to see those if you guys like walnuts. The seeds always make it hotter. So I got provolone cheese. That's going to go on top of it. And like slightly thick cuts of prosciutto. prosciutto. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you right before they go in the oven and we bake them. And so good. So good. <laughs> One in a day <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Making the meatballs, ma. Making the meatballs, ma. There you go. Making the meat. The Making the meatballs. <laughs> Making the meatballs. That's the grow. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you or, go. Oh. hey, we got the Italian going on in this house. The Italian. So we sing, Como bella c'è la luna, brilla stette, stette como butto, bella pasteggia, sotto cella de Roma. 
Okay, right over here we have sausage frying for the gravy. Hold on, let's see the sausage, cuz. Boom. Okay, so you, when you did that, you had a little oil in there, believe it or not. I personally, in my opinion, don't think it needs oil, but she's doing it the way she's been taught. I, uh, if you know, sausage creates its own oil. Um, but then again, I don't know how much oil it'll do, so it might end up burning in your pan. So I, I'm not sure. That's something you gotta play with. Uh, right over here. How you make meatballs correctly? Veal, beef, and pork. It's a mixture of the three meats, and that is a meatball. Yes. A meatball. A meatball. A ball of the meat. A ball of the meat. You got garlic. You chop some onions. You get your Italian seasonings out. You get your purees. You get your uh, to paste. All that good stuff. That's it. Cuz. Rose got her, her little shoesies on, cooking today. Oh yeah, she got a little pedicure action. There you go, Rose. Get him, Rose. And a little rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Rose. Slow down, Rosie. <laughs> she still got it in her. <laughs> My Natalie always said, the cheese makes it, Mom. It does. You it always said that, too. It makes it, Mom. Put the cheese, Mom. Don't be stingy. I can hear her voice. Don't be stingy. Okay, Nat. more oil. That hot oil is still in that can, so you can always add a little more oil. So when you're putting this together, you've got to focus on one thing, putting gravy together. Nothing else. That's why you don't throw your oil away. You keep your own because you need more. Making piece of pasta, like piece of macaronis with no meat. Chop up onion and garlic like that. Okay. Yeah. Put in uh, crushed tomatoes, basinagol. What's basinagol? Basinagol is basil, crushed oh. basil. And and your seasoning is what you want, salt, pepper, and then you open up a can of can of peas. Yeah. Well, either. When the when the gravy's done, and use the juice and all of the peas. Okay. Oh my God! Oh, it is delicious. Oh, it is delicious. See, when we cook food, we also talk about food. We cook food and talk about food, and yes, makes us more hungry. Yes, that's what we do. Wow. Okay. This is making gravy, Tanya. I, mean, I always thought we had a stump on the tomatoes with our feet and to make our own crushed tomatoes. And, uh, but now I learned that, you know, not everything out of a can is bad. They must have done this in Italy. All right, so Ma, you're just putting it in right there. Yep, yeah, just putting the meat right in. My meat right in, beautiful. Look. Yeah, I had googly eyes. And it comes out very thin and very little. Okay. And it comes out very skinny. Okay, I got gotcha. you. This is an extra special time. Extra special time. All right, so these are the long hots. This is the prosciutto. You got the provolone cheese on the long hots. I deseeded them. I rinsed them. Oh my gosh, I was coughing. Woo! They're going to be spicy. That's the one spicy I made. So now you got the long hots, the cheese, and some salty prosciutto. Looks like we'll see. Bless you, bless you, bless you. 
I ended up. All right, that's uh, how you make some long cuts. You buy your long cuts, and if you're smart, you'll go to like a flea market. Two dollars. I got a ton of long cuts. Way more than I needed, but I'm not gonna say no for a basket of a ton. And uh, there you go, provolone cheese and the prosciutto. Put them in the oven, a couple minutes, let them start to, to melt and brown up, done. <laughs> All my loyal subjects, subscribe, share, don't be greedy.